Hi there. We're just about to go into Fellini's of Stratford, Ontario to enjoy a really yummy Italian lunch. This is a very reasonably priced restaurant and I can't wait to see what kind of value we get for the money. So come along and let's eat. Fellini's is right in the heart of Stratford, Ontario, kind of what I would call Restaurant Row on Ontario Street. There are some amazing restaurants in Stratford. It's a theatre town. It also has a great culinary school, which maybe explains why there's such a foodie culture. So if you're visiting the area, definitely try out more than one restaurant. According to their website, Fellini's is family owned for the past 27 years, and they are quick to say that they make their food from scratch, just like Nona would. I really liked the atmosphere when we entered Fellini's. Lots of Italian movie posters, artwork, wine bottles, and the rich woods that you would expect from a restaurant like this. We did go during the day at lunchtime. This is one of my major hacks for living on less because I do find that the lunchtime hour you can sometimes get a little more inexpensive foods than the dinner hour. However, Fellini's does seem to have a menu that is consistent throughout the day. And I will say it's incredibly reasonable. Our server started us off with homemade rosemary bread with olive oil and balsamic vinaigrette and butter. You can't start an Italian meal without bread service, so this was much appreciated and the bread was warm and delicious. I had a glass of the Pili Island Pinot Grigio while I was here. We definitely like to support local. And in my opinion, Pili Island is among the best as far as Ontario wines go. We did decide to split an app and in this case, I went with what my husband Andrew preferred, which is anything with olives. I'm not an olive lover, but I thought I would humor Andrew here, and I was pleasantly surprised that this dish tasted very similar to some of the olives we've had when we visited Greece and Italy, and that's an olive I don't mind partaking of. So the olives were marinated in almost like a citrusy sauce. There was also red pepper dip and an artichoke cheese blend dip that was warm along with a grilled olive oil bread pita. Honestly, I could not believe that this appetizer was only $9.99 for what you got, and especially for how tasty it was. And the shock over the value for cost just kept going as we got further into the meal. I got a chicken parma sandwich, which was on a ciabatta bun with a delicious, almost like a sun-dried tomato sauce, mozzarella cheese, romaine. The star of this sandwich for me really was the chicken. It was tender and delicious, and you could tell that it had definitely been breaded and fried in-house. This was not a pre-breaded chicken breast that came out of a box and was quickly deep fried, like you see at a lot of other kind of mainline Italian restaurants. There is a lot of care that went into this sandwich, so delicious, and I did add on a Caesar salad for $4.99. I forgot to ask whether the Caesar dressing was house-made, but I think it might have been. It had so much garlic, which if you are a garlic lover like myself, you will love this Caesar salad. Just delicious, real bacon, grated Parmesan cheese, delicious croutons. Sometimes a Caesar salad can be very basic, but I thought this one was fresh and delicious. Andrew, who does not usually ever order pasta at a restaurant, decided to go with a pasta dish and branch out today. I think he was drawn to this dish because it had the word asparagus in it, and he loves asparagus. <laughs> so this was the penne marcella with grilled asparagus, roasted red peppers, smoky bacon, and a garlic cream sauce. He also added on chicken for a few extra dollars. My husband loved this dish, as did I. I did have a couple tastes, and it was creamy, so good, and it really packed a punch of flavor. Sometimes you get a creamy pasta and it's very bland tasting. That was not the case with this dish. I will say that going through our meal, I felt that the service was great. Our server was amazing, but it was a little rushed between courses. We had just really gotten our bread service when our appetizer was dropped off. We'd barely finished our appetizer and our main dish was dropped off. So if you're someone who is going for lunch and you're in a hurry, this might be amazing for you. For us, we were hoping for a more kind of long, drawn out, leisurely process, so we would have appreciated a bit more space between our courses. Now, we could not leave without some Italian desserts, and Fellini's did not disappoint. I ordered the flourless chocolate cake with a raspberry sauce, and Andrew ordered the lemon ricotta cheesecake square as well with raspberry and whipped cream. 
These were the perfect size of desserts because we were already pretty full from the rest of the meal, so we just wanted to top it off with something small. Let me tell you though, I, I still I cannot believe these desserts were each only $3.99 and they were so, so good. The flourless chocolate cake was a dark chocolate, which I personally love. I love that hint of bitterness. And you could tell that the raspberry sauce was also house made. This was not raspberry sauce from a squeeze bottle. This was something made in their kitchen. It was fresh, it was delicious. I am so glad we decided to have dessert to cap the meal off. So to give you an idea, we had a lot of food here. We had an app, we had two main courses, we had two desserts, I had wine, and still with tax, the meal only came to a little over $70. That to me is a really good value for the food we got. I will say, I won't name any names, but we have tried out another Italian restaurant on this exact street in Stratford that is much more high-end Italian fare and you get way less food and it was not as tasty as Fellini's. If I had a choice between the two, I would go to Fellini's again, but the other restaurant was double the price. So I really feel like this was an amazing choice and I will be back. Thank you, Fellini's. So all in all, we had a wonderful meal at Fellini's. If I were to rate this in terms of value for money, 10 stars, it was an incredible value for what you got. I loved that everything was house made, it was delicious. Basically, I mean, my sandwich was basically the same cost as getting something at McDonald's and the quality is a million times better. So if you are going through Stratford, Ontario, I highly recommend making a stop at Fellini's, make a reservation, that's always the best way to go, that's what we did today, and enjoy your trip. If you would like to see some more reviews of mine of different places in Ontario or just learn more on how to live on less, check out the video clips beside me and keep watching. Till the next time, for the least, this is Jen.